Criminal feud between the thief and the Jukuns has been a long enduring episode of bloodshed. For years, both communities have recorded large number of deaths, destruction of property, as well as displacement of persons. In the last two weeks, the thieves and the Jukuns have been engulfed in another communal clash, which has also recorded a sizable number of deaths and destruction. To this end, the House of Representatives says something drastic needs to be done to stop the age-long feud. In his submission, mover of the motion, Representative Danjuma Usman noted that not less than 10,000 people have fled their homes and their farms and foods completely destroyed. In some places, security agencies were overwhelmed and as such could not contain the killings and destruction of property. The cognition of the fact that affected persons are poor people who live in thatched roof houses and are now at the mercy of nature as the rain has set in. Lawmakers in their various contributions decry the limitations faced by security agencies to tackle insecurity. To me, requires that we review the dispute re resolution mechanism in addressing the Jukun thief conflict. I'm saying that we resort to a new approach because violence can never, never be a solution. There is the need to look at the underlying causes of this kind of clashes. This is communal terrorism because this thing has been on for years. Some of the reasons that have been given on the social media about the cause of this fight is so senseless. My take on some of these communal clashes in Nigeria is that these crises, these crises are senseless, shameful, and primitive. The House therefore called on the federal government to fish out the perpetrators and have them prosecuted. Charity Tonko, ITV News, Abuja.